Tammy Diener Lafferty, who is a curator at the Alvin Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens, joins us to tell us about this very, very special place in our area. Welcome, Tammy. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. I'm happy to be here. Every time I say Alvin Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens to somebody, their eyes light up. Yes. <laughs> tell For people who haven't been, tell them what they will experience once they go there. Well, I would say, you know, many people say, oh, I have never heard of it, or I have never been there and I've heard of it. So I just want to say, I hope that everyone will come to visit. It is a very special place. Um, it's located in Winter Park, Florida, on um, the shores of Lake Osceola. And it is not only a museum, it is also, we have an historic home. We have a, a sculpture garden located on the shores of Lake Osceola. And and we also have an art gallery with rotating exhibits that we exhibit, um, rotate four times a year with different, you know, up upcoming and new artists. Um, we have an annual event called Winter Park Paint Out, um, which is very popular in Winter Park and is a lot of fun. Um, and we ha also have Cape and House, which is a second historic home. Um, and there we host events, weddings and conferences, and it's available for for, um, for rent. Now you just sort of slid the sculpture gardens in there. Yes, but it I did. really is yes. a very special place. It is a special place. I highly recommend people come and spend a day there. The sculpture gardens, it's a three acre sculpture garden, just lush with all kinds of different tropical plants and um, Nestled in within the plants, you'll find as you turn around every corner the beautiful sculptures created by Alban Palaszczuk. He um, built this home in 1950 when he retired, and he built it to be his studio and his home. And he was inspired by the same sites that you'll see when you visit there: um, the beautiful landscaping and the beautiful view of the lake. And you know, he designed those gardens himself. To to display his sculptures. It's a wonderful experience. It's uh, reflective, contemplative, but also just so artistic. Yes. You're, you're yeah. seeing so much beautiful design, mm -hmm. the atmosphere, of course, and, and the setting is yes. just amazing to be there on the lake. So if people wanted to bring their family, would kids really enjoy it as well? Yes, yes. We're definitely very welcoming to families. I think, you know, one of the best parts is our three acre sculpture garden. So the kids can go out and run around in the gardens. You know, it's fine to go up to the sculptures and touch them and interact with them. Um, and we do have a um, docent-led museum guided tours of the historic home, which will tell you all about the life of Alban Palaszczuk and about his artwork. But they're pretty, I would say they're pretty brief, and I think most kids would be able to follow along and enjoy it, yes. So Tammy, tell me about Winter Park Paint Out. What would people experience if they participate? Winter Park Paint Out is, you know, one of the cultural events of the year in Orlando. It's very popular. It's been held since uh, 2011. Um, and the Winter Park Paint Out consists of plein air painters. 24, you know, nationally recognized plein air painters. Plein air means outdoor painting. Um, come for Winter Park Paint Out for a week-long festival. And in that week, these painters create, you know, up to 250 paintings. Our gallery is turned into a wet room, and as they paint, their paintings are hung in the wet room. Um, and they are all available for sale. The proceeds help to benefit the museum and the artists as well. Um, they paint on site at the Palaszczuk Museum. There are, um, the museum and the festival is free all week long. Uh, and they, um, we have painting demonstrations, so some of these artists will give demonstrations as to their techniques and how they paint. It's just a really wonderful, wonderful place to be. The painters can be found all over different sites around um, Winter Park and Orlando. So if you see, you know, during the last week of April, we have this annual event every year. If you see painters painting away, it's most likely that they are part of Winter Park Paint Out. And with the, the 
Sculpture Garden and, and just the beautiful locale. Are, are, is there event space that, that you could have an event there? Oh yes, we're very popular for weddings. In uh, 2014, um, the museum had the opportunity to purchase, it's called Capen House. Capen House was located on the other shore of Lake Osceola and the land was purchased and the house was to be demolished. And so a bunch of concerned citizens, including the Palaszczuk Museum, got together and raised funds to save the Capen House. And they were able to, in a very short amount of time, raise enough funds um, to, re to move and restore the home. So move the it? move, yes, it was moved across the lake. So I was not there at this time, but I've seen photos, and from what I understand, the house was actually cut in half, and then it was put on barges and floated across the lake to to the um, Palashik property, and there it was reassembled together and restored. And it's just a beautiful historic building from the beginning of the um, 20th century, like early 1900s. Beautiful wood floors. It's just a lovely place to be. And it is available for weddings. We have many weddings, um, engagement parties, even you know business conference meetings there. It's a very photogenic spot. They can, you can be married on the shores of Lake Osceola in the midst of the beautiful sculpture garden. Very nice, yes. very nice. And what a story you'll have to tell about your venue yes. as well. <laughs> yes. Well, Tammy, thank you for being with us. And if you haven't been to the Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens, make your way there. It is one of the gems here in Central Florida. Thank you.